What's good, internetians and my unborn grandchildren? My name is Jason, and you are watching Such a Pendants. Today, we're going to talk about maps, digital, physical, and the application kind. I'm dying to know. Inquiring minds are dying to know. What the hell are you guys using? Stick around. Let's talk about it. Well, I'm headed to the house to put my bike up and then to the office. Now, normally I would just go right to the office. However, there's this hurricane coming and um, while we're not going to really get any effects of the hurricane, we are going to get some rain. And I don't mean drizzles, I mean it's going to freaking monsoon. So I'll probably even get some of that on the way home. Anyways, I got a funny little story I want to tell you. My brother, he was telling me about his in-laws, his father-in-law. His father-in-law is a Vietnam veteran. He's an older fella. And uh, they have family in Colorado. So years and years ago whenever they first started making the trip from San Antonio to Colorado um, he used to keep a or not he used to he kept a log of you know how to get there what you know what towns to go to like he didn't list out every road but he did list out you know like you know you need to go to this town there'll be a such-and-such such gas station on the right hand side of the road you're gonna fill up there um, you know, the next town is so many miles away. Uh, you, you know, you're gonna fill up there at this gas station. Anyway, so that's just how they, that's just how he did things. You know, old school, nothing wrong with that. But um, what's interesting is, is that over the years, as technology is, you know, of course improved and advanced and hell, even cars, they get better gas mileage now. You know, the vehicle that he's driving now you know, he could skip two of those gas stops uh, because his, his car gets so much better gas mileage. Anyway, my brother and his family, they recently, I mean, this is like a few months ago recently, not years ago recently, recent, recent. My brother uh, and his family went to go meet his father-in-law and their family in Colorado. They live, you know, about 10 minutes, you know, 15 minutes apart from each other. So, the father-in-law, you know, when they get up there, the father-in-law says, damn, he says, you must have been flying. No, well, not really. He says, well, man, you, you made great time. You, you said you left it, you know, th this time, right? He said, yeah. He goes, how'd you get here so fast? Um, just punched in the address to Google Maps and here I am. Oh, yeah. Don't trust that Google Maps. <laughs> and look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. You know, that's that is what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not slamming anybody or anything for any of their beliefs. That's fine. But I think it's just interesting how, you know, I mean, that's that's basically one generation ago, you know. And I mean, the way I understand it, that wasn't all that uncommon. Uh, for people that used to travel anyway, you know? So, I remember whenever, uh, and I hate this phrase, damn I hate this phrase, but I remember when I was a kid, um, <laughs> I used to use um, uh, a World Atlas, Rand McNally I think it is, and uh, you know I used to work for my dad and we used to, you know, travel out of town, out of town frequently, out of state frequently uh, to do work. So. I would get, you know, I would get the address to the job site and, you know, hey, on this day I'm going to leave and, you know, I didn't get directions on how to get there. I got an address and your ass better be at work at this time. So, it's just interesting, you know, like now I don't even use the damn map, you know. I mean, I use Google Maps, but I don't use like a actual physical map. I don't, shit, I don't even know if they still sell maps. It's been so long since I've used one. So, what about you? Do you guys use maps? The second part of this 
is, and don't get me wrong, I, I know that there is a valid um, concern or point to be made for relying on technology. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not saying that that shouldn't or should be a thing. I, just, I get it, you know. But um, the other part of this is, uh, you know, apps, right? So straight navigation, I use Google Maps, and 99% of the time, I'm pretty satisfied with the results. Um, and I've been using Google Maps, the, the, the app, for a while, even when it sucked. Uh, because it, when it sucked, I was like, I'm going to keep using this to make it better, you know, because I know they're tracking me. Anyway, so now with the apps, there's so many different kinds of apps um, for trip planning. I mean, there's, I don't even know, I, I can't even begin to count how many, right? Um, not that I use them all, but I've used some frequently. And here recently, I had just went to Houston and... Um, I've been trying this new app for, uh, you know, tracking and plotting my course uh, while I'm riding my bike. And uh, I've run into some problems, and the, even the app manufacturer or the developer or whoever, you know, he's like, well, that's weird, which, you know, story of my life. Uh, I'm not really ready to come out with what it is that I'm doing. <clears throat> I think in the long term, I think it's going to work out, and I think actually it's been what I've been looking for. But, um, you know, I've used other ones, you know, like the Harley Davidson app, the, you know, Rever, you know, there's uh, several different apps that I've used that are just all kind of lackluster. But the biggest problem with all of them is you have to be traveling to, to, to use the damn thing. So you don't know if it's working or not until you get on the road. So then when you get on the road, then you start fiddling around with the damn thing. That's no good. There needs to be some sort of simulation mode. You know what I mean? Some sort of simulation by these phones, Apple and Android and, you know, whoever else. There needs to be like a simulation mode. Like, simulate my phone going from San Antonio to Houston along this route. You know, something. Something so that people can get the hang of using an app without driving. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I know. I don't need any technology. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people that want to use technology and want to be safe doing it. Anyway. I am going to book it to the house. Oh, but first, yeah, do you guys use maps? Physical, real life maps? Or, and, digital applications of maps? What do you guys use? And also, when you guys plan trips, do you guys actually plan out the gas stops? I don't. Um... And, you know, like, this Boom Infotainment Center does a lot of things wrong, but what it does right is it does a very good job of telling me where there's gas stations, in, you know, in my proximity. So, like, right now, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to just go up in here to search, hit that gas, and right at Boom, two and a half miles, there's Murphy's, there's Sprint, Valero, Valero, Shell, AGB, etc. So I'm like, okay, I got plenty of gas. Anyway, I'm curious, I mean, I know there's a lot of people that don't have all this bullshit on their bike. So for you guys, how do you figure your gas stops? I'm curious. Inquiring minds want to know. So, until the next one, later.